Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, today Friday I um, had a few suggestions of that a couple of weeks back and I thought we'll do a series today about Google Chrome privacy settings. Of course we all know that there's Windows privacy settings but do you know that there's also privacy settings in your Google Chrome web browser? So the first privacy setting is about sync capabilities. Of course if you have a Gmail and if you have signed in to the browser with that Gmail. One of the things that happens is that there's um, syncing of your data, syncing of all the information to the cloud. And of course, the, the idea behind this is that it, of course, will help you on other machines you have Google Chrome signed in, kind of follow everything you've been doing. Now, it also has a privacy concern because it does send to Google and to the cloud some information about what you're doing on your web browser. So this first video is how to change or just turn off the sync capabilities. Maybe you don't even want to have any syncing of your um, data and your information to the cloud. Um, it's all up to you. It depends on how you trust Google or not with your own information. So how do you do this? Simply go to your Google Chrome browser by clicking, of course, the Chrome icon. Once you're in the browser itself, on the upper right corner, there's three vertical dots. You'll click there. And the three vertical dots, you will go, of course, to settings. And the settings, when you're here, you have sync and Google services already there. But if you don't see it, go into the uh, menu on the upper left of just on the left of the word settings. And here you can go, of course, into advanced and go to privacy and security. The first that you'll see there is sync and Google services. Click here. Now, by default, it's on. That's why it says turn off. So here it's syncing to my email, but you can click the turn off button and it's gonna say, well, okay, uh, changes to the bookmark, the history and stuff like that will um, you know, not work. And the way that it works, well, you can sign out. Meaning if you don't sign in with any accounts, now you're information is not going to be um, in there anymore and of course you have a little check mark here that you can add to says also remove your existing data from this device and it tells you how many items that they have here it says this will delete six, 1647 items from this device to ret retrieve your data later sign into Chrome as and of course you can go to the Google dashboard to complete the task in the Google dashboard that we will look at also in some of the videos that we're going to um, basically do an extensive look at Google services and Google Chrome, you can, of course, go there and erase what's left, the information that Google stored about you. So you can sign out, of course, or you can turn it back on, and uh, basically this is how it works. So um, just sign out or sign in again, depending on what you want to do. So by signing out, here we go. Of course, if you sign into Google again, it will allow you to, of course, sync your stuff once again. So once you're signed out, so let me stop Chrome, let's go back. You'll see that when you go into those privacy settings again, so I'll go into settings, and of course here you see that it's telling me that it's kind of, you know, and turns on sync. When it, it reacts like this, that means that, of course, you have, of course, signed off, signed out and it doesn't have and will not sync that information anymore. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.